Mayor Baum Baldwin. Uh, he, in this, I've never, I'm, and I'm honest about this, I've never been into one of these sessions around and been, uh, as a guest, and been treated in such an admirable way as I've been treated this morning by you and your staff. I mean, I am just floored that he would have an office at the front of the room set aside uh, for me and for, and just in case I had any uh, uh, meetings I wanted to have private meetings. I've got an office right there on this. <laughs> With a desk and my picture on the wall and everything. I mean, man, you, 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 it don't get no better than this. <laughs> so I want to thank you, Mayor, uh, and, and your entire staff. Uh, and I want to say also that uh, we, uh, we have here with us someone who just reintroduced herself and uh, <clears throat> I'm just so proud to be in her presence once again, and that's Ms. Robin Merson, uh, the senior, she's on the panel, the senior vice president of the Notice Forum. And she reminded me of how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> me too. No, no, she just, uh, she reminded me that many, many years ago, uh, I had a, <clears throat> very close friend uh, who was uh, Erwin Thalberg Jr. Erwin Thalberg Jr. was the son of Erwin Thalberg Sr., the great Hollywood uh, producer. Uh, and, uh, but Erwin Jr. was a professor of philosophy. And we got to know each other quite well during the heyday of the 60s. And he invited me to speak to his class uh, at the University of Illinois, uh, Chicago campus. And she was a graduate assistant who met me and escorted me to his class. That ain't God good. I mean, you know, in all these years, it just uh, show uh, uh, how good life is. And I'm so glad to be in your presence again, Robin and I. Thank you so very much, and Erwin is very, very proud of uh, you and the work that you have done and, and continue to do, and I just know he's smiling down on this very moment. Thank you so, so very much. I, 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 that kind of leads me into, you know, the staff has a whole lot of stuff for me to say, but I'm not going to say any of it. Uh, and I think this is very important uh, throughout most of my life. Uh, and uh, as you get older, you should get wiser. Uh, and hopefully I'm a lot wiser than I was uh, uh, as, as a younger man. And, but as I look back over my life, I see that the most important thread throughout all of my life was centered around relationships. Relationships, most important thing. As I look back uh, on my life, I know that my life has been undergirded by having good, positive, and strong relationships and learn the value of relationships. And I certainly, uh, now that uh, I've learned that my relationship with the Lord is my primary relationship, and so I work on having a good relationship with God and, uh, and, and, and the Lord. And, and my faith in uh, Jesus Christ, my, my Savior. And I, um, uh, so from that relationship, then I have learned over the years about good relationship with my family and my wife and, and my friends and my associates. And as I stand here <coughs> and before you, and I think about the relationship that I had with Tim's father. You know, people don't, don't understand. They, nobody would ever, would ever believe that Bobby Rush and Mary Tim Baldwin has a relationship that's rich and powerful that ex don't exist around politics. And so we can be in each other's company. He, uh, uh, a stalwart in the Republican Party, I, I'm a stalwart in the Democratic Party. But our relationship allows us to see things from a different kind of perspective. 
not just from a partisan point of view. My relationship with Robin is uh, is the same. You know, I have a, we have a relationship. I haven't seen her in 40 years, but the spark is still <laughs> there. All right, and based on the relationships, and I just want an example of that. When I came in, I noticed the statue of Abraham Lincoln. Now, I don't have a relationship with that. Well, him now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that old, but, <laughs> but I do recall uh, as a young man uh, living on the near north side, I grew up around Division and Wells and Division and Franklin, and I went to Franklin Elementary School, and just like every other uh, eighth grader, from time to time, I would cut class <laughs> every now and then. Uh, good student, but sometimes it's bad boy and we'll cut a class. And I found, I'm probably the only student in the city that will cut class and go to a museum. <laughs> but it was in uh, the Chicago Historical Society. And I would just love to just go there and dream and think and just ponder and roam around the Chicago Historical Society. And at the rear of it, they had this big statue of Abraham Lincoln. And so I developed, a, did develop a relationship with Abraham Lincoln and that we had some good conversation here and I find <laughs> a young child's imagination. Okay. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm just uh, so uh, want to say to you that even in the areas of relationship, you're here for learning, getting your expertise. Uh, you want to get information, you want to get the contacts, you want to develop, develop relationships uh, through this process to learn how to get more resources uh, back to your community organization, your neighborhoods, and the citizens that you serve. Uh, and <clears throat> with the idea of relationships and uh, the whole thrust about relationships, center some of your attention on the relationship because uh, you might get all the technical advice, but as Eunice said, if you don't follow up, if you don't develop a relationship with the grantors, uh, then you're not going to be successful. So take time to develop the relationships with the grantors. Uh, and uh, you already have a relationship with me. I'm your congressman. Thank you for uh, your, your vote and your support in the past. I want to earn uh, the right to represent you even more in the first congressional district. And through that, I want to develop a uh, um, quality, qualitative and a qualitative relationship with you, uh, where you uh, will believe in me and believe in the work that I do and what I say to you. <coughs> Lastly, I just want to say that I want you to develop a relationship with my staff. I have the best staff in the entire Congress. And you know that, and they're always uh, uh, available to you. And my office, the theme of my office, we like to view ourselves as the Motel 6 of the U.S. Congress. <laughs> the light's always on. <laughs> so thank you so very much. Please uh, enjoy this. I hope that this, uh, you look back on this time and say, well, that was very meaningful. Uh, with me, for me, not only have I uh, gathered more resources, but I've been able to develop better relationships. Thank you so very much. God bless you.